So NVIDIA just announced the GTX 1080 and the GTX 1070. But in this video, I'm actually going to be talking about the 1080 and the 980 Ti. Currently, I'm rocking an EVGA 980 Ti Superclocked Edition, but I want to help you guys figure out what are the deciding factors on whether or not you should upgrade from your 980 Ti or just stick with it. Straight from the NVIDIA website, the GTX 1080 will have a manufacturer suggested retail price of $599 while the Founders Edition will be $699. The Founders Edition is pretty much NVIDIA's redesigned reference card which has a very exaggerated design in comparison to the old reference cooler, but the GTX 980 Ti currently sits at around $540 and above from third party manufacturers like Zotac, MSI, EVGA, etc. and NVIDIA themselves. The pitch for the GTX 1080 is faster than 980 SLI. While the price to performance ratio for the 980 wasn't the best let alone being viable from its release date, honestly for a single GPU to have this kind of performance is honestly pretty sick. I along with a lot of other people in the PC community would suggest going with a single GPU over SLI since SLI is still a work in progress and I am a huge advocate of avoiding SLI if possible as I've had GTX 970s paired before and it was not a fun experience. To have this kind of power in a single GPU is definitely a pitch that caught my attention. The 980 Ti's pitch was Titan performance for half the price, which is ironic seeing as this is being said on almost every article headline for the GTX 1080. At the time when I purchased the 980 Ti, I knew that I would ultimately be set for years in ties with the other specs of my computer. The Titan was, and is, a very expensive graphics card. That being said, at the time of its release, it was the only one of its kind available to consumers. The 980 Ti did deliver what it actually said it would do, and to this day I'm very satisfied with my purchase. The GTX 1080 at its base has 8GB of GDDR5X VRAM which enables its memory speed of 10GB per second while not completely abandoning the lower modes of GDDR5. This will help with both the form factor and the design of the graphics card, the speed of the memory and the voltage of the card as well. It will consume 180 watts of power which I would recommend a 650 watt or higher power supply to pair with this thing just so you can be on the safe side. It has 2560 CUDA cores at a base clock of 1607 MHz and a boost clock of 1733 MHz. The 980 Ti has 6GB of standard GDDR5 VRAM at 7GB per second. It consumes 250 watts of power in which I recommend a 750 watt or higher power supply to pair with this. 2816 CUDA cores at a base clock of 1000 MHz and a boost clock of 1075 MHz. For those of you wondering about the amount of CUDA cores and why the 980 Ti has more CUDA cores than the 1080, don't for a second think that higher is always better. This would tie in with processors as well. Say you take an 8 core processor and a 6 core processor. The 8 core processor runs at 3.1 GHz, but the 6 core processor runs at 4 GHz. The 8 core will perform better when it comes to say, video editing. But take gaming for example. Since most games only utilize 3 to 4 cores, when using the 8 core processor, you would have slower cores and less cores being utilized. Your best bet is to go with the 6 core processor since you'll have less cores at a higher clock, but this is all dependent on the task at hand. The same concept goes with having less CUDA cores but a higher base clock. While the GTX 1080 looks like a really good deal, I would personally only suggest you get this if you're looking to upgrade from something more lower end than a 980 Ti. Maybe coming from like a 970 or lower, the 980 Ti will be holding up for quite a while and I don't see the necessary switch right now. If you have an extra six or seven hundred dollars laying around, be my guess, but as far as it being a necessity, it definitely isn't. That said, I really do like the GTX 1080 and I've been anticipating a new Nvidia card for a really long time. I hope this video was informative enough for you all. Do check out the other videos on the channel and subscribe to keep up with the newest content here. I'll check you all later.